Hey, I'm Nick Rollo. I'm a pop producer and mixing engineer from Australia. Welcome to The Producer Place. Today, I'm gonna to show you how loud I would record a guitar. This applies to either DI, if you're using like a Kemper, if you're recording an amp, it all applies the same in my opinion. Before we get into it, smash the like button, hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell. My audio setup is a bit weird, so I'm just gonna to have to record this and then I'll show you what I've recorded. For some reason, the audio doesn't come through whilst I'm recording it, so you won't be able to hear it, but I'm using this Fender Telecaster. Uh, obviously, these tips apply to any guitar, but I'm just gonna quickly do that. Oh, it does come through. <laughs> So as you can see, the volume that I've been recording at, and this is through a Kemper profiler going into an SSL 6 channel, this applies the same if you're just doing a DI or an actual amp, as I said, is approximately, it's about minus 12 or about 5 to 0 on a VU, 0 being the absolute peak and 5 is kind of the average. You can see that here. I recorded this volume because it, there's no digital clipping. This is kind of pre-gain staging, or it is gain staging, meaning when I'm mixing, I kind of want everything about that zero mark anyway, so a bit below is fine, since I'll probably boost a bit with some plugins. And just to prove that, let's just chuck on, say, like a 4000 um, E channel by Brainworks. It's very easy to turn the volume up when it's recorded softer. This is 10 dB. It's super easy to add more volume. It's harder to remove things like clipping and you know, any kind of pops and bits that you get if you're recording it too hot. In saying that, you can use Isotope RX to do it. It's better to not have to if you can avoid it. So yeah, that's how loud I record. Aim for about minus 12. You can give or take a little bit or five to zero on the VU meter. I think this way you just kind of avoid any problems. If you're recording a DI and you're, then you're using like an amp simulator on your software, that's fine as well. You can add volume with the, the actual amp simulator. In fact, it probably will. I would still aim for about that minus 12 point. It just makes your life easier later. Trust me, give it a shot. If you disagree, comment below why. I'd love to know. Um, if you have any other questions, let me know and I'll try to respond and answer them. Have a good day. It's been a quick video. Like and subscribe.